Welcome YouTube Stackfish here and let's dive onto the callback functions in JavaScript. So callback function is a kind of concept in JavaScript where you pass a function as an argument to another function and then that function can execute the passed argument function in its body. So don't get confused, we'll just see the example right now. So let's get started. So I'm just creating a function called login. So here's our function login. So this function will receive two parameter which you could have guessed like username and password. These username and password will be used for the authentication of user. But with this, this will also take the two more parameters uh, which we've called on success uh, or uh, I'll call it success or uh, an another I'll call it fail. So these success and foil will basically be a callback function which will be uh, executed back by this function if the user has successfully been authenticated. So let's just define a simple logic here like that if username equals to some hardcore string and actual what you need to call it to the API to make sure that these username and passwords exist in your database but for here we are just doing it in a hardcore string. So we could uh, like uh, user if user equals stack and uh, and uh, like define another condition for password and pass equals beast uh, beast and then we gonna call this success function back yeah because this function is an argument of a function type this is a cool stuff about the JavaScript that you can pass a function as an argument or as a parameter and then you can call the same function inside the body. Yeah. So basically, if the user is authenticated with these two strings only, then this success call function will be called else the parameter being passed at this place, which is called refers as a fail, this will be called. So if user has successfully authenticated, success will be called if user has like different username or password. So like fail will be called. So let's just call this function. We'll call it login. Uh, we know that we need to specify the name of the function and then pass it the two, four parameters basically. The first parameter will be username. So I'll give it stack because I know otherwise you have to take it from the input field basically. But for, for this tutorial, we are just using it a direct string. So username and then specifying the password. I'll give the correct password called beast. And then after this, you need to pass a function as argument. So you can just create a function or like I'll use the arrow syntax here. So you can see this is an anonymous function and, and this being referred to as a success function here. So basically this function will execute if the user has provided the correct details. And then you can just create another function. This will be executed if the user has entered the wrong details. So in the previous function, we can just write some code like log to the console. Okay, great job. You are logged in. And in the callback function of the fail, we'll say log to the console. Sorry, no record found. Oh, yeah, like, please ignore the typo mistakes. Sorry, no record found. Or like this. So. Yeah, this is done. Actually, we have just called the function here where the first two arguments are the use basically username and a password and the next two arguments are a functions itself. So these functions will be executed in our code depending upon the certain logic that if username or passwords are correct, they will execute. So if I save the program, you can see in the output. OK, great job. You have logged in. So you can see if I if I enter some wrong username, like some random stuff and you will see sorry, no record found. You could have also done it simply like the function you have just defined here. Uh, I'll just remove the function from here and, and just create another variable which will refer to this function, which I'll call it on login. So on login uh, will have the same function. I just uh, cut it from here and pasted it here. So on login basically and just I can just now pass this function as a parameter here as an argument here basically and this on login will refer to this function so if user has successful login so this function will execute and i'll just create a one more function and call it on fail and like if the username is not valid so it will like on fail i'll just remove it from here 
on fail basically so this will be a function now so we have a type of mistake here we I have forgotten the T so I just will type T and save the program okay cannot access on login before initialization okay so I'll just take these functions here to the above so that declaration is before actual to call these functions because these functions are being called here so we just need to define them before so if you see like we have a same kind of output in the program that sorry no record found because the javascript functions uh, supports the callback as a function so what you could have done is like you could have removed these two functions from here and also these parameters from here so now the result of uh, this login can be returned into a single function where if like username is stack and the password is reached and like if it is a successful login basically i'll remove the parameters as well so you can return a function um, which will basically do anything like uh, you could have return a function itself so you could create just a function like this and uh, log to the console here okay success and uh, if it is failed you could have return uh, another function just creating an arrow function here and saying log sorry like like this basically okay again one more type of mistake here so return and save the program so you'll see it like that uh, you have nothing in the output because basically the result of this login function will now be a function itself so i'll just store that function in a result variable and now you will save the program you see there is again nothing because this result is now actually a function so we just need to call the result function now and we'll see the output sorry and if i change the username and a password to the actual uh like uh, verified details uh the stack mb so we'll see like okay you have success so in this way basically you can just pass a callback function uh, and like also return a function from the program so you can see just in our program we have returned a function itself and then this function is stored here and in order to call that function you just need to use the parenthesis again and then you'll see the output i hope you have got the basics idea about the callback functions and returning a function from the program itself uh, like we'll be diving a more about the callback functions in the future videos so like if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and uh, just let me know in the comments if you have any issue with your program or like any part you didn't get or something like that uh, uh thank you and see you soon